Today's Q&A is about where's a good location behind the radio for a new ground. What's up guys, this is Brennan with Sonic Electronics. And I'm Alan. And today we got another Q&A for you. This today's question is from Giggity12345 off of YouTube. And he was curious where a good grounding point would be behind his factory radio or his aftermarket radio and his dash. I'm guessing you have a Nissan. <laughs> Probably. Or, or an Infiniti. <laughs> Which is also Nissan. So typically on the factory Nissan radios, if that's what you have, they'll actually ground through the antenna, the AM and FM antenna shield or off the chassis of the radio to the inside of the dash. Now, on most of these vehicles, you'll have some type of metal bracket or metal tubular support brace that's going through the dash, uh, which you can drill a small hole into and use a grounding lug bolt or a self tapper to adhere your new ground for that aftermarket car stereo. So there's definitely gotta be some metal source um, inside the dash for you to ground to. If not, if you have a cigarette lighter receptacle below the radio, that also has a ground. You can also share that uh, or utilize that ground for your aftermarket accessories. Granted, if you're installing an amp in your dash, don't use that as the grounding point. I don't know very many amplifiers. The MVP A4, bro. Oh. A PBR5. Why do you have to be so mean to me? <laughs> I know there's small amps, but geez. <laughs> No, but uh, basically what Brendan said, uh, usually there's some sort of brace or subframe to the dash. Uh, what you just really want to be careful about is sometimes behind the uh, behind a radio, there'll be like a metal bracket and you're like, oh cool, well, I'll just ground it right there. But that metal bracket that's behind there is actually not part of the chassis uh, or the subframe. So it might appear to be just metal, so you assume that it's a ground. So it's really a good idea to use your multimeter to check and see if it's actually a good grounding location. But usually it's pretty obvious, because. but if you bolt or screw to a ground that's not a good ground, chances are the radio might turn off or have noise or have an issue. So it's always really important to always have a good ground with every kind of electronic device that you're hooking up. So use your multimeter, go ahead and probe the red to your constant power source in the dash and start poking around until you see 12 volts or do a continuity check between the battery and that piece of metal on the dash to see if it beeps and you're golden. All right guys, well hopefully that helps you out. I'm Brendan. I'm Alan and stay grounded. That was a good one. <laughs>